This is what it is, okay? I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Oh. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Oh, the water can really flow nice. or it can crash. <laughs> Be water, my friend. Holders. We're actually at the back of it. It's just yeah. there. But we thought, screw it, we'll, we'll shoot the yeah. interviews here, nice and quiet. Why is this spot, like we're at today, so significant to our training? Aside from the fact that it's named after a Doom song. Doom, Doom. MF Doom. It's just like a classic three ball spot. You know, and like if you, you do free running, you see three ball spots everywhere. You're, it's you're like, like disabled ramp access, staircases, it's like three balls, man. Yeah. Oh, this isn't really a spot that you do like gnarly stuff at, you know, yeah. it's not like a big... But that's fine. It's a nice warm-up. We've, we've, warm we've, we've got our spots with our gnarly, our gnarly challenges. We've yeah. got our spots with our more intricate challenges. We still manage to find big jumps, you know what? To be fair, there are some pretty sizable gaps there. Oh, boulders? Yeah. Like from the rail? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Good. Decently sized gaps. For decently sized stuff, but like... I think it's quite good. Like, you can't really like just have a line where you're striding or jumping between these three walls because like they're just three walls and the gap's about that. What I have noticed with this specific spot is it has brought out a lot of creativity. Yeah, it's definitely a more creative spot than a, a power one. Yeah. Like a power one. Something like an IMAX is definitely like a oh, power one. It doesn't really inspire too much creativity spot. because you know you see two gaps and you're like, hmm, I can vault between these, but yeah. with potholes you've got to be a little more creative instead of jumping between the three walls, have that your 180 stride and pile out to the rail. So the clip. Uh, and yeah, it just it requires you to be a bit more just creative, more conscious of your movement. Make sure everything flows together. There's not a lot of space to work with. I think that's also a key thing. Yeah. The spot, it's tiny. Yeah. It's very small, very small spot. It's really small. Compared to some really famous ones, it's a very small spot. I mean, we're doing what? I mean, these, yeah. That's better. It's a goal.
Oh, he did it. Connection, connection, connection. Take one, Jack interview, Sainsbury segment. Speak about Sainsbury's. Ask me a question then. I don't know what to ask you. Oh, sick. Jack, yeah. why is Sainsbury's so spotty? So spotty. Why is it so spotty? Oh, Sainsbury's is like... Why is it so good for training? Sainsbury's is like our best spot. It's like the only like top tier spot. We really have a lot of places that have a bunch of different top tier ones. You've got your IMAXs and yeah, you've got your... I don't actually do parkour, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just overall, it's a bigger spot. We don't have too many spots that cover a lot of area. Usually it's like three walls in a tiny like 60 square meter area. Yeah. Like it's not a big... It's like not a big holders. Area. Sainsbury's is a big spot, so there's a lot to do. The second half of the spot, we really didn't pay much attention to. We go back there, give it a look-see, and it's pretty good. That's just it, really. Here now. Got too loud. That's part of it. Oh, you're there, sorry. So, with my line, I think it was more powerful. I think I had a lot more... Obviously, I had to do a lot of striding. I had to have a lot of foot placement. Especially with that first part. If I had, like, messed it up, it really ruins the way I can, like, lazy out of that little corner part and um, flow into the dash up. But um, that's what 